How to use CJ Dropshipping with TikTok Shop Hello guys and welcome back to today's video In today's video, we will be teaching you how you will be able to utilize CJ Dropshipping together with TikTok Shop to establish a dropshipping business model So utilizing TikTok or TikTok Shop as our shop is a really great idea because if you're familiar with how TikTok works you will be able to access TikTok Shop within the app itself and watch videos of people promoting products, demonstrating how to use them, and many more. So using this TikTok platform as a front is really great due to the amount of users of TikTok and you will be able to get a lot of traffic with your products. Now using CG Dropshipping as a source of product is also really great due to it being already a dropshipping platform which is optimized for handling product selling or product ordering that is related to drop shipping and as you can see here on our screen they have really great selection of products with really cheap prices that you could buy in bulk so this is a really great platform to use as a source of product so to be able to use cg drop shipping with tiktok shop is very simple all you need to do is to connect it to your store how do you connect CG Dropshipping to our TikTok shop? Now simply look over here on the left side, we have different tools over here. We have Find Products, we have Cart, we have things related to uh, your products that you have, orders, sourcing, and like other extra features over here. And we have here this icon representing stores over here that is connected to our store. So. What we're going to see here are the different available stores that we could connect to. As you can see, Shopify, eBay, ShipStation, AliExpress, Nuweb Shop, TikTok Shop US, TikTok Shop Lazada, Shop Lazada API, with these to see and many more are the available stores that we will be able to connect to. And as you can notice, I have passed by TikTok Shop over here meaning we will be able to interact and connect with TikTok Shop. We also have a TikTok Shop US over here, which is available for those who are currently living in the US. So let's simply select TikTok Shop, which will redirect us to the next page. Now in this page, it's just going to give us an instruction on how to connect to that platform. So simply click on Add Store. And as you can see here, it will give us an instruction on what to do. Basically, we're going to have to set up our warehouse to the specific information over here. Because in dropshipping, that product will be shipped from a different location and the return product will be shipped back to that place. So we are no longer handling the product inventory ourselves, not physically anymore. The CG Dropshipping will be the one who will be the manager of that. So what you're going to need to do in TikTok Shop is to set them as the warehouse or like your address for pickup and delivery. So to do that, go over here in TikTok Shop. Look over here on the left side, we have an option called My Account. Select it and simply select Account Setting. By doing so, we will see over here on the screen our account settings. And in this settings, you have the warehouse settings over here, wherein you will be able to configure your warehouse, inventory storage, and shipping preference, which is the same thing over here. Warehouse name, contact person, phone number, suite address, and region. So this is what you're going to see when you open this. And you're basically just going to enter the warehouse information and click on save. After that, click on OK. And what is going to happen is we will be opening TikTok shop in our seller center over here. So there are two sections over here, North America seller or Asia seller. Simply select the account type that you have uh, where you have created your TikTok shop account. For us, we're from the Philippines, so you're just going to click on next and you're going to log in with the information that you have for your CG dropshipping or your TikTok shop. Now, unfortunately for me, since I haven't changed our warehouse settings over here, it will fail to connect. But what it would look like 
when you successfully connect it is you will be able to see a list of stores that you have for example over here let me show you my shopify section so that you will be able to see or visualize what it would look like this is what it would look like your tiktok shop will be listed over here on your store or store list you will be able to see the store name their token verification results store status inventory sync email permission and all of those things and you will be able to enable pod button settings uh use store logistics tracking url transfer store or delete that specific store now after you have select successfully connected a store uh, what you're going to do next is inside of cg drop shipping is look for products that you want to sell what i would recommend that you guys do when looking for products is to pay attention to this uh pictures over here this gallery or this carousel which will contain product lists that are currently in season or currently in demand so that's a really great that a section to find products in due to the demand but anyway, over here, let's say I would like to sell uh, this specific shoe over here. Scrolling into it or zooming into it, as you can see, there's this button, list or add to my products. If you open this product over here, you will be able to see more in detail, more photos, more description, more title. And over here, same thing. Uh, but this one, we have buy sample, add products, list, or connect. So in list, you will be able to add that product to your store inside of TikTok shop. In connect, if your product already exists, you will be able to establish a product connection to for automatic order fulfillment. So let's click on list. And over here, you will be able to see this page over here. Simply select your TikTok shop store over here in the list available. Select your product type. The title, you can modify that a bit. And we could also modify the variant pricing over here. We could select recommended pricing list so that we have recommendations over here. After that, we could click on image and videos. We can also select which videos or which images do we want to be published, as you can see here. And you can also modify our description over here, as you can see. You could remove things, you could add things, it depends on you. After that, simply click on list now and you will be able to list that specific product that you have onto your store. It will be redirected to the all listing page, which is going to be found in this page as you can see. This is where you will be able to modify or rather uh, keep track of the products that you are trying to list to a specific store. And after that, you should be able to see the product inside of your product list over here. So that's basically it guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, thanks for watching.